Hey everybody, so I'm here to give you the two month, two month update on me being home from the hospital. Yay! This is a celebration, even though I can't drink anymore. I'm drinking fake drinks. Anyway, as you can see, um, I'm doing fine um, physically. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about recovering because it's not just the physical when you go through something as traumatizing as I did. It's also the psychological. Um, as most of you know, who followed me for quite some time, I was um, in the hospital for over a month. They found a blood clot in the vein in my liver. I went through five surgeries in five days and I was in a coma. So thank God I'm here. And I believe God is the reason that I'm here. So um, a lot of people ask me a lot of questions about blood clots and how did I know? I didn't know. Um, so, you know, a lot of you people who work out, you know, you guys know I don't work out um, and you think you have like a Charlie horse in your leg or swimmer or something like that. Don't be so sure. It could be a blood clot and they move up towards your heart. Okay. They're normally in your chest or in your legs. Mine was very rare because it was in the area near my liver. So I'm really lucky to be alive. Like you have no idea. Um, but you know, definitely if you even think you have something like that, it's good to go get, um, like a CAT scan and get checked. So I'm on blood thinners now. Um, I'm learning to live with it. It's not a big deal. I just can't drink because that's a blood thinner. You know, my blood will be too thin. So, um, in the beginning I had a little bit of blurred vision. I was tired. Um, dizzy sometimes you know I really couldn't walk when I came home too good but as you can see I'm um, back to my fabulous self um, you know but it wasn't just physically healing it was also mental and psychological when you go through such a traumatizing experience um, you don't just you're not just fine like that came out of nowhere I was just partying on a yacht on my birthday September 7th Virgos yes for the best to being hospitalized for it over a month. So that just goes to show how quick life can change and you can't take shit for granted. I really learned firsthand. Um, but it was more of a shock than anything coming home. And I didn't realize the transition from not having a nurse's button to push and them coming in at night to check on me every two hours to do my vitals. Um, I started to panic when I got home. Like I had someone here, but she really was not much help. Um, I was panicking because I was like, oh my God, what if the blood thinners don't, aren't working? Oh my God, what if I die? Oh my God. And I was literally skipping breaths and having breathing problems. Um, so I went for my one week follow up with one of my surgeons and he told me that was completely normal after going through such a traumatic experience. Um, I mean, I've, I've almost fucking died. Like, hello. So, you know, you're scared. Like, and then you don't know what caused it. I still don't know what caused the blood clot. So it's like, okay, it, was it a fucking candy bar? Was it, um, a soda? So it's like, do I know what I'm picking up and putting in my mouth is what caused it? So that's part of the problem. The paranoia of not knowing. And then am I doing it more to myself again? You know what I mean? Um, I have a theory on what it was, but I'm not going to speak on that until we're sure. But I'm pretty sure I know what it, what caused it. But that shit's been thrown in the trash. It was an over-the-counter supplement, okay, that was not FDA approved. Um, stuff you get in like GNC, you know what I'm saying? So we can't confirm that yet, but we'll see soon enough. Time will tell. So anyway, I'm wearing my evil eye shit to keep the haters away and, you know, all the bad spirits. Stay away from me. Um, I've been praying the rosary again. I've been reading my Bible. I've been really in a good place. Um, my faith in God has really, really never been stronger. Um, the things I took for granted, I no longer take for granted. The people I took for granted, I no longer take for granted. Um, I've learned to forgive a lot of people. I've learned to forget a lot of bullshit. Um, you know, nothing, if you don't have your health, nothing, nothing else matters. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. So with all that being said, that's the update. I'm doing fine. I'm back to my, yes, fabulous self. Um, and 
as we discussed before this tragedy months ago, I got the podcast finally set up. I'm looking through the names. I remember the video I made. It's still up. And I asked you guys to help me find a name for the podcast. And true to my word, whoever um, picks the podcast um, name, I'm going to send a Serving Looks shirt. Yes, you can serve looks like me. Yes. So stupid. Anyway. <laughs> So the podcast equipment is set up in my office, um, the microphone and everything. And also, I have a YouTube channel I'd like for everyone to join. Now, it's not really in motion yet. I have three videos, two are the dogs, and one is me getting a procedure done live a while ago. Um, but the YouTube channel is going to be great because it's going to cover topics that are too long to cover on Instagram and I'm gonna be a hundred I'm gonna monetize the shit out of it fuck that you know what I'm saying like what good are having a lot of followers and shit and you know all that if you're not really making money you know what I'm saying um or have a product to sell which is why I started serving looks the brand my brand yes 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 which is actually it's not a t-shirt it's not a merch line. It's cosmetics and skincare, believe it or not. And I started sourcing my products before this tragedy happened um, for quality. Um, and of course, with this glitch, whatever, I'm still going through with the, um, the makeup and everything because everyone asks me, Chrissy, what lip gloss do you have? Oh my God, I love your brows. What highlighter do you use and all that? Fuck sending them to somebody else's page. No, like, come on, man. Let me get the money. I'm just being a hundred. Like, come on, man. Like, I'm in business for myself here. I'm also going to go over on the YouTube channel why I walked away from the plastic surgery business. How to start your own business. Apparel. Whatever you want it to be. It could be whatever you're passionate about. Okay? I started this business with my own money. No investors. I don't like to owe people shit. So win or lose, I don't owe anybody anything. How about that? And I usually tend to win. And also, you know, Serving Looks, um, the name inspires confidence. You know, it was always me and my bestie saying, oh my God, look at you, you're Serving Looks today. Ah, So it's about serving confidence. And it's even taken on more meaning um, now that I went through such a tragedy and I have persevered to get this business going in spite of being in a fucking coma. Guess what? It's up. The website is up. The link is in the bio. The shirts are available and the tote bags are available. Um, the makeup will be available soon, but I'm only bringing the best quality. I don't believe in putting out bullshit um, quality. I want you guys to um, be able to wear the stuff that I wear. I'm not going to ever um, sell something that I wouldn't use. Okay. I did that in the past before. I've like, you know, given in to these offers from these companies to post their shit. And then I'm like, wait a minute, what the fuck am I doing? I was selling out for a check. That's not me at all. I've never been that way. And I don't know what I was thinking. But you know what? I was new to all the social media shit. And I thought that was part of being an influencer and all that bullshit. Being an influencer is really telling the truth um, and being honest about things. That's to me being influential, um, not scamming people and misleading people um for my own personal financial gain so with that being said um serving looks is also about integrity which you know i'm a big on the whole integrity thing um so that's coming along so on the youtube channel we're going to be able to go through all kind of stuff that you guys ask me about such as we're going to go over things like my barbie collection okay Look at this one, the blondes. You guys know who the blondes are? Oh my God, fabulous. There's a Hervé Leger. Look at that. So you guys know I have a great Barbie collection. We're gonna go over stuff like that because guess what? This shit is too long for me to go through all this on, on um, Instagram. We're gonna go over some Baby Yoda items. You guys know how much I love the BY. Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda. We're gonna go over some pet pet mom stuff how about that 
rescuing pets. Both of my dogs are rescues. They're tiny little rescues. That's a baby, right? And how you guys can, um, you know, if you're interested in ever adopting um, a pet, how to go about it. I can help you with that. Of course, we're going to go through my closet. Um, I'm going to go through some of the shopping that comes to my door that I order online. We're going to um, try on some stuff together. Some of it looks good, some of it doesn't. Anyway, um, so yeah, and then also talking about everything that you guys ask me about um, with relationships, sex, love, dating, food, of course. Um, also find me on Google. I just hit over 5 million, but I think it's maybe closer to six. I haven't even checked. I have not been active doing too much um, in spite of everybody trying to get me to get up and do stuff. I'm like, not the one, remember, <laughs> I'm going to do it on my time, not when somebody else says so. So I wasn't ready to come out until I'm ready to start really being consistent on YouTube and with the podcast, which will be named soon. The podcast is going to be more risque and cover more nasty triple X filthy topics. Okay. But you're better than me to talk about that. <laughs> So some of the things on the podcast are definitely not suitable for YouTube. So they're going to be separate. So like I said, the link to the YouTube is in my bio. Don't expect to go on there now and see anything great. Um, I'm actually going to film my first video tonight and start uploading content. Okay. So I just want to thank everybody for being so supportive through a horrible time. Um, I actually just lost a good friend to COVID. Um, and it's serious out here. So I will be home and I'm not going anywhere. This will be my new hobby. Okay. So I can't say I'm bored. Um, I'm going to be sharing a lot of the good books I read a lot of, of my whole world with you guys, because everybody's like, you need your own talk show. You need your own show, Chrissy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. well, let's just build it and we're going to do it this way. Okay. And I don't have to be on a TV to share my life with you guys. I can share it through social media, right? Hello. And I'm sure someone will come along and recognize the fabulousness. Hello. <laughs> I'm so stupid. So yes, I'm excited. Um, that's just an update on everything. Um, the serving looks link to the website is up there. I'm sold out of large in the sweatshirts. Hoodies are being made as we speak. Um, thank you guys who have been buying and supporting. I appreciate the love so far because I barely started promoting it yet, but I'm about to go hard, but I want to get the makeup up there first too. Okay. Yeah, so we can all fucking serve looks. So anyway, thank you. That's the update. Um, I'm still taking it easy. I'm still not a hundred percent. I still have my moments. I have anxiety. Anytime I go to my follow-up appointments at the doctor's office, I start sweating and panicking because I'm like, Oh my God, they're going to tell me they found something else. <gasps> like, you know, I'm like, I, I've been not sleeping at all some nights, like I've been up, but it's normal and thank God I'm here and um, I just really like, I can't thank you guys enough for your support and everything that I do and now is the time we're going to launch the podcast, yet to be named, and the YouTube channel. The link is in the bio so you can go check out my website, it's cute, and the YouTube channel you can at least subscribe so when I do start uploading stuff, you're going to see it all. Yes, 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 yes. Love you guys. Bye.